Okay, so now we're going to fit the uh, expansion link into the bush. But before doing that, I'm just going to put a bit of oil on it, lubricating oil on the pin. Pin goes into the bush, like so. And then we've got a star lock washer. And the idea is that the star lock washer goes onto the pin on the inside and locks it into position to stop it coming back. And the instructions say that you just put that on and you force it on or you push it on. However, uh, the reality is uh, getting the, the star log washer started over the end of um, of the pivot pin is extremely difficult. The star washer is very stiff indeed, and uh, I've been struggling to do it. And I've even um, I've even busted one, broke one of the star lock washers trying to do it. So out of um, <laughs> Out of frustration, I uh, contacted Tom Beatty from Local Works and he gave me a little tip um, on uh, how to put it on, uh, how to, 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 to put the Starlock washer over the pin. And what he suggested is to remove the lower uh, chassis frame spacer here and then um, you've got a bit of room from the underside, on the underside, to, to line the washer up with the pin and then perhaps with a with a pair of pliers or something and then just give it a tap to get it started on the, on the, on the end of the pin so i'm gonna have a go at that and see if that works okay so i've removed the lower spacer i've, I've actually got i've got one on we've got one ring on so i thought i'll show you how i managed to do it so what i've got i've got a little socket here this is a 5mm socket and um, what I do, I put a little bit of blue tack on it to hold the Starlock washer and the Starlock washer, make sure it's the right way around. So there's the Starlock washer, hope you can see that the Starlock washer is central on that ring. So what I'm going to do now is see if we can do it just move the chassis a little bit and with a pair of pliers it's all about getting just the first bit and it looks a bit sort of hefty this so let's see if I can get it lined up and I'll give it a welly with the hammer okay hold it hold it Jeff hold it and then give it a welly with the hammer yeah And it's just managed to go over the end. I'll just bring the camera down so you can look at it. Hang on a sec. Can you see that? It's just on the end there. Of the. Let's see if we can do that with it. There. It's just on the end there. Just managed to get across the end on the on the on the on the pivot pin. So then it's a case of just pushing it down using pliers and maybe give it a little tap and you push it all the way down so it's it's you know the the expansion link is uh, uh, it shouldn't be tight okay I hope you can see there the starlock washers are in and I've just I hope you can hear it just let me see if you can hear it it's a little bit just the minimum of actual movement and that's what the instructions are asking other side the same a minimum of actual movement that's all they're after and it just moves itself they are left and right of course and when they're vertical like this um, the tapped extension at the bottom there the tact extension at the bottom there should be facing rearwards so this is the left hand side of the loco move it across 
and there's the right hand side of the loco. Okay the next stage uh, to building up the valve gear is to fit the eccentric rods. This end is slightly thicker than this end, it tapers off and there's a kink in the rod here and the thick end um, actually goes to the return crank and the other end fits onto the expansion link fit in there like that and um, we've got a tapered screw 5BA that goes through there so that's both ends are going to need the screw the tapered screw yeah and there's one on each end one on each end and then in between of course the 5BA washer so let's crack on with that lubricate lubrication oil on the bolt So there's the one expansion link fitted to the left hand side and obviously I'll just go ahead now and fit the other side. Both eccentric rods fitted now. Let's give it a run on the track. Ok here we go. So now we're going to move on um, and fit the radius rods to the valve gear. Now the radius rods comprise the radius rod itself, um, a crank pin and washer that fit into the expansion link and a uh, fixing screw that fixes the um, radius rod into the, into the valve rod. Um, I'll just bring it up just to let to show it yeah okay, if we can get that in focus yeah this part goes into the valve rod and it's uh, to fix it to the expansion link we're talking about the it's the rear hole here and this is tapped to receive the, uh, the, the, the screw the crank screw and what we have to do first we have to remove the excess thread on the crank pin. So what we do first is fit the crank pin okay and I hope you can see that there there's a there's excess on the rear and we have to file that off according to the instructions. So we'll give that a file try not to run the file along the rod okay there's the result just caught the the rod for a couple of uh, couple of goes of the file but I'm quite happy with that so let's crack on so as before we'll oil up the crank ring and then we'll go ahead and fit the radius rod 
So I moved the chassis onto the side and it uh, made getting the, getting the crack pin in easier, but it's in there now. So we'll just tighten this up a bit. So, there we go. So this radius rod can move in the expansion link. And we'll go ahead and connect to uh, the other end in now. Put some oil on. Oil on the pin as well. Okay, we've just started the the screw in the in the valve rod, so we'll just put the radius rod in there now, in between. Yep, there it goes. Tighten it up again. There it goes, going in now. Tighten them up. And we're done. Free movement. So let's uh, have a, do a good quick check. Okay, I've just removed the one uh, valve chest cover here. So what should happen now when I move the locomotive backwards and forwards, you should see movement uh, in the valve within the valve chest. So that's the radius rod fitted to the one side and I'll go ahead and do the same on the other side. So the final tightening of the other side of the right hand side. Screw going to the valve rod. Steel screw into um, brass a brass tapped hold so always be careful. So we'll take a look, we'll uh, open both, both valve chests and we'll uh, just make sure that there's movement on both of them. Okay, I'll slowly move the locomotive forward and you should see um, both valves moving within the valve chest. So that's the radius rods. Now the radius rods, they ensure um, the forward and reverse gearing of the locomotive but there needs to be a way of shifting from forward to reverse and that's where the lifting link and the mech along the way shaft comes in so that's what we're going to be fitting next 